Yo, what's good guys? It's TNGL back at it again with another YouTube video. So for today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a pack opening and um, a tutorial on how to pass the uh, the final power line event where you get your boss. Now a lot of people, well I mean there, there's a couple of people in my comment section earlier for my um, how to beat the power line events easily. About that video, they, they were saying that oh this last one's really tough so I'm just going to be teaching you guys how you guys can easily pass it. So um... Yeah, let's, uh, I've already done it once, um, so I'm going to be opening up that pack right on screen for you guys, as well as the one that I win from this one that I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to be opening up 299 overalls as well, so yes, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So the first thing you want to do is, um, make sure you put in your Mike McCarthy as your coach, and make sure you have quick slants unlocked. Someone did say in my comment section that Quick Slants was unlocked at level 5. So, thanks to that guy, whoever did that. Uh, you know, you really gave us some good information. So, yeah. Go ahead and unlock Quick Slants at level 5. It'll really help you guys out in this event. Um, just a great play in general. You guys can use it anytime. And, it's like the ball. It's just like that you're bailout. You get out a free jail card that you can use anytime during this event. So if you're in any like tricky situation, then go ahead and use Quick Slants. And I'm just using West Coast, just uh, just because it's my thing. And I like I like West Coast for this specifically because West Coast is a lot of like inside run plays that just go up like straight up straight up the middle. So um yeah, just like don't don't anyway in this game you, you know those like weird run plays that make you do like sweeps or whatever. They're they're kind of weird, so <laughs> yeah, those weird plays are weird. But um, yeah, um, they they, they sometimes they don't. Uh... The the main goal for this event is it's it's the same as a it's the same as a win after halftime one, but um, the goal with this event is that you should try and just run the ball, like um, and just never let the offense get control of the ball. Because once the offense gets control of it, you're going to be screwed. Because, I mean, the offense is crazy. They got, like, Odell and everything. So what you want to do is just go for these small runs. Like, don't bust a big one and just score the touchdown first play of the game. No, that's not good. What you want to be doing is doing what I'm doing. Just draining the clock. Notice how I'm just, like, sitting here just waiting. I'm going to be waiting till almost the very last second before I call the play. Because time of possession is key to winning this match. Um, some of you guys have been saying it's pretty pretty hard like I, I don't find any challenge in this match like it is super easy for me and I don't in it's just because I never let the offense get a control of the ball because their offense is actually insane they are like Odell and whatever so they can just like totally just straight up blitz you um so there's really no reason why you should be letting them play offense just do exactly what I'm doing and just run out the clock Oh, okay, yeah, guys. See, see right there. I'm fourth and four, right? See, my I go to my bailout play, flipped quick slants. This is pure money, guys. I swear to God, this is pure money. Watch, pure money. All right, yeah. That just bailed me out on a fourth down. Boom, 42 seconds to go. That means I have. Because you know what guys, all you need is a field goal to win and time of possession is key. Don't let the offense get a hold of the ball because the defense is way easier to deal with than um, that freaking Odell that just blitzing up, you know what I'm saying? Just like freaking straight up. Okay, you know what, I, let me just try and correct the situation right now. So we have a little bit of a better idea of what to do in the fourth quarter. Yes, yeah, see look at that. My bailout play, quick slants, easy money. See, that just bailed me out right there. See, um, okay, unflip it so then it don't get screwed up. And boom, we are on to the fourth quarter. Now, this is when the chew clock starts running in, um, starts coming in and the, uh, starts, uh, starts being activated. So notice how I'm under the 40 yard line. As long as you're below the 40 yard line and the score is even, the chew clock's gonna be activated. So it's just gonna be sh uh, shedding eight seconds off of every single play, um, no matter what you do see right there boom i started and then boom eight seconds are gone nice and easy i love true clock i wish that this was like an option you can put in and it shed all the way down to five seconds because 
honestly this is the worst event just because it takes up so much time so much freaking time um and i get stuffed up there but you know what guys i'm just gonna be keep milking out the clock because uh all it needs is a touchdown to win and i know it's kind of scummy it's kind of boring but at least you want to win this one right so you guys have been saying it's pretty hard you know i, I don't know what you guys are talking about it, it's pretty freaking easy um it's, it's actually really easy like all you need to do is just run the ball call some smart run plays and then boom that's it you know you're done um i missed out on the true clock there which kind of sucks because i was just talking and distracted so oh well um but yeah like next year i really hope that they implement a true clock function and uh that would be absolutely helpful um like let me actually like do a little something with my time instead of just sitting here doing nothing just waiting for the freaking clock to run out but um you know the game is what it is um all right guys so they'll probably call a timeout here no okay well um here's my final tip for you guys in this event um i'm in field goal range and by the time that this expires um by the time that the play clock expires um uh the um the actual game will end but what you want to do is you want to um you want to press the you want to hover the field goal section so um you want to hover the field goal option and once it gets down to three seconds so once the game clock gets down to three seconds you want to press uh the field goal and then the um the ai will automatically call a timeout for you stopping the clock and then that by that time it'll be two seconds and then you can just kick your field goal in nice and easy let me just show you guys right now so it's six five four three three boom i called i called the play and boom look at that okay so i was a little i was a little bit delayed there because i was talking but see see guys they they called the uh they called the timeout for me as long as you do it three seconds um before the game ends you're gonna be fine because all it takes is just a it only takes two seconds before um before um uh, before <laughs> what am i even trying to say before like before the game will actually for the field goal to go through and the game will end so boom i've done the perfect setup i didn't let the offense ever touch the ball so they're never gonna score and it's gonna be nice and easy for me and yeah i just kicked the field goal in nice and easy right there boom this is how you pass this insanely hard power line event everyone's complaining about it you know what guys i just made that look super easy buttery smooth no need for force quitting or anything just just use quick slants to bail you out um and boom we got our first power surge pack um let's see who we can get i think i need i think i need oh my goodness okay so there's a couple quarterbacks probably don't need those right now don't definitely don't need the child the uh kelsey aj green might not be a bad decision i don't know um Hmm, this is kind of a tough. Okay, so I'm gonna take the middle linebacker, but my middle linebackers are all right if I could remember correctly. Um, I think that honestly, Stefan Gilmore is the pick. Uh, what is he? Plus four play rec. Coins 20%. Pursuit. Michael Strahan looked pretty good as well, but you know what guys, I'm gonna go for this uh, Stefan Gilmore And uh, yeah, that's pretty chill, but um, let me let me just check what, what places I need to work on I need offensive line like all of my offensive lines trash except for center um Okay, yeah my defense uh, Just my corners and Defensive ends are me whatever um defensive tackle. Okay, whatever. Uh, it's not that bad um, it's mostly just like linemen and uh cornerbacks and whatever so yeah like wide receivers could also do it with a little boost so aj green's not a bad choice um randy moss is a quarterback that's kind of cool um offensive tackle morgan moses that's looking really good for me right now um but i think the offensive tackles are kind of cheap but anyway i think o-line in general this year is pretty expensive so I'm just gonna go ahead and take the uh, Morgan Moses right here. Plus four loose, not Michael Vick. So by having Michael Vick is kind of cool as a quarterback, though. Um, you know what I'm saying? But okay, uh, 
What am I doing? Plus four throw power. This awful boost. I freaking hate that shit. Um. Okay, but yeah, there's Morgan Moses. Um. Yeah. Uh. I guess it's my uh, little video for you guys. A little bit of a tutorial. A little bit of a pack opening. Just uh. Just what you guys probably wanted. So um. Yeah, that is pretty much how you guys just make make the power line event super sputtery smooth, just super easy. Once again, guys, put in Mike McCarthy, trade him up to level five, and you get quick slants. And once you do, um, yeah, you're gonna be good. You're gonna be good to go. Um, <clears throat> um, okay, safety's fine there. Air Barry is pretty good right there. Um, and we'll just replace Brian Pool. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if it, this helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time whenever I have the chance to make my next video. Uh, 